I can't see how, uh, how Bashar al-Assad, who controls very little of his country, is in a, in a position of, uh, of advantage or victory. And uh, what is inevitable is that there will be change in Syria. The question is how. There will be a new plan announced by the opposition, a vision it's called. What is different in this plan? There's been a plan for an 18-month transition for many months now. The opposition has come up with concrete proposals. The regime has always said no. And they've never even put any ideas on the table. This time the opposition is going a step further and will be laying out a more detailed uh, plan for a transition, what their vision is for Syria, what Syria should look like. It should include everybody. It should be a democracy. Uh, that's the type of system that, that, the, that the Syrian opposition will be putting on the table along with modalities for how to get there so that there is no reason, no excuse for anyone to say that they don't have a plan or that their plan is not rational. Um, what, we, what we hope will happen, but we're not holding our breath, is that the regime will respond and engage and begin to implement the Geneva One Declaration which calls for transition governing council, a new constitution, new elections, a new government without Bashar al-Assad. Saudi Arabia and Russia are talking at the, the highest level now. What new reassurances have you been given in recent days, in recent weeks, that give you more, a greater sense that this plan, which has been around for a long time except for the detail, is actually going to succeed this time? We never know if a, if a plan will succeed or not because it takes two parties to agree. But what say you, you keep saying a year ago you told me in Saudi Arabia there was a plan, but it, the fault was on the side of the Syrian Bashar government. Bashar al-Assad, yes. So what has changed? Because Syria needs more than words. Every day people are dying. I agree with you. I, I'm personally not very optimistic. I have very little faith in, in, in the Assad regime uh, and, in, and in its willingness to engage. So you have to test the proposition. You have to test whether, ally, whether Bashar al-Assad's allies are prepared to put the necessary pressure on Bashar al-Assad in order to comply with the will of the international community. And we're prepared to test this proposition. And so we will see what happens. But it's, there's more than one side in this war. You, Qatar, the Americans sent in a lot more arms and supplies into Aleppo in recent months, which for a time changed the momentum in Aleppo. So it's not just the government, the army, Syrian army, that is pushing the military solution. The plan B, as you yourself call it. We have said that we will support the Syrian opposition, the moderate opposition, along with our allies. And we have done so, and we will continue to do so. We will support them as if there is no political process, and we will pursue the political process as if there is no war.